All right, Sardi Sting fans, welcome back once again to the Progressive Auto Sales Arena. Not so good news here this afternoon as the Sarnia Sting uh, down 4-1 to one against the Mississauga Steelheads. Blair Coffin in goalie uh, for the first time uh, this season. We'll see if it's partly him or maybe part of the team trying to help out as well, but Blair Coffin and the team working hard to come back here. There's still two more periods, so of course anything can happen. We'll see what kind of changes the Sarnia Sting make to catch up to Mississauga. But right now, as you can see, I've got a very special guest. He's been on here with me a couple of times before. He's uh, helped me commentate the uh, lacrosse Pacers game. Liam Henderson, how you been? Hi, fantastic, thank you very much. That's good, you've been watching the uh, Sarnia Sting here. Uh, you see we got Blair Coffin in there for the first time this season. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, you know, four goals for 14 shots. I mean, I know he, I know he might feel a little down when he gets back into that locker room, but in that game, he made some spectacular saves, especially a fantastic rebound save. If you are tuned in to your TV to see that, my gosh, he was fantastic. So, I mean, not too bad. He could definitely get approved. He's nowhere quite near being the backup yet, but he's making progress, I have to admit. All right, some positive things to notice in there. That's always a good way to look at things. What about the Sarnia Sting as a whole? I mean, we've seen some new players here this year. Uh, Jamison Reese is out right now with an injury, but, uh, you know, they came out the gate really strong, and then they sort of fell back a little bit last week. What do, what do you think the Sting need to do to improve to be a little more consistent in the game? Well, you know, a couple days ago, Theo Calvis was traded to North Bay, so Sarnia is really going to have to pick up their back, their back check and defense game to make up for Theo Calvis. And also, what we've seen in this game from the Steelheads, what, why the Steelheads are winning is because of two reasons. Their, their offensive pressure and their stick work. In the steelhead zone, they make sure that no goals can get into the net. They always seem to get the a stick on the puck and get net battles out front. So the Sting can learn from the steelheads. They're five, two, and one. So this strategy is working. So I'm hoping that the Sting will take this strategy and win some games. So you're sort of saying maybe learn from the other team at times. You know what? Yes, that's a good idea. And I mean, I mean, the Sting are currently four, three, and one right now. They they definitely aren't the most successful team. Well, they, they come got, out. They come out yesterday though. We were playing the the Guelph Storm, which is a, a top team. Yeah. Uh, they come out and they beat that team very strongly. So, would you say it's a, a fair message to say that the Sting have what it takes to get to the playoffs? Well, you know, by the looks of what we have on the Storm game, if they could keep that offensive and defensive ability up, then yes, the Sting have arguably one of the best goaltending depths in the league. Aiden Hughes and Ethan Langevin are fantastic goalies, and I think, honestly, I think Ethan Langevin is an expert D. Pietro, so the goaltend, goaltending is a major part of getting into the playoffs, and I honestly think that both Hughes and Langevin will be a part of that. And the offense and the defense are also fantastic, without a doubt. Even without Theo Calvis on D, on D, we've got some good guys like Colton Kammer. And out front, we've got Razichka and McGregor. There's so much more than that. And the first goal was scored by Braden Guy, number 14. I yeah, mean, his fourth fourth of the season, right? Yeah, Braden Guy is he's really standing out to me. I mean, I mean, last year, if you walk down to the street and ask who's Braden Guy, some people may know who he is, some people not. But now he's been putting up a perform, he's been putting up a memorable performance, scoring four goals. He's definitely been standing out uh, so far this season. Indeed. And that's uh, that's very notable. Indeed. I want to. I'd like to talk about you for a minute. You know, you've been a pretty busy guy. You've had a pretty busy summer, and yeah. I've been I've been reading some things about you in the newspaper. You're uh, you're becoming pretty famous. Can can you tell everybody what you're famous for? 
Well, I'm becoming famous because I'm on a CBC show, Canada's Smartest Person Junior. Well, you are one of the smartest persons, including with the adults that I know. You're a pretty smart guy, and uh, I'm glad I've been able to get to know you over the last couple of years. We, we'll probably be doing some Pacers game. If, you're, if you don't get too big, rich, and famous and travel the world, will you, you come back and do some of that with me again? Well, well, you know, maybe I'll take a break from professional broadcasting to, to broadcast some Pacers games. And when I'm in the House of Commons, when I get a break, I'll be commenting, comment, commentating with you and some some others on the on those Pacers games as a little throwback to my kid days. Right on. <laughs> you are more than welcome to join me anytime, wherever you are in the world. We can connect like Skype or something. And I, it's just a pleasure to have met you, uh, you know, the last couple of years and gotten to know you. And, uh, you know, I know I know, mom and dad are pretty proud of you too, right? Mom's yeah, got some yeah. pictures of us uh, uh, bragging about you and me. And you're just doing some awesome things. And I know that one of the things you want to do, you want to be a professional, like an NHL commentator, right? Yes, broadcasting is one of, broadcasting, I love sports broadcasting, especially hockey. There's baseball too. It would, right, be aw it would be awesome if I can get in the TSN or Sportsnet studio. Well, you know what I've always told you, dream big, right? That's right, that's right, dream big, everyone. All right, very good. Give me a high five there. Liam Henderson, come on in here, get, get, stay in the shot. Thanks so much for joining us. We're on the count of three, let's do a ghosting go, all right? Yeah, let's do it. Ready? One, two, two three, three, go, ghosting, go. go. All right, broadcasting for the show live on location in the video show network. My friend Liam Henderson and myself, I'll be back next period with Jake Chersky for some fan perspective. Until then, thanks for watching, everybody.